Capcom has finally revealed some Ikey gameplay for Street Fighter 6. The first reveal that they gave us for Ikey was pretty much just a cinematic trailer revealing some of the story information on the character, letting us know who she is and what she's about. But we actually have some gameplay, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. Much love to Capcom. Uh, the original video is 2 minutes and 20 seconds. We're going to do a rough playthrough, see what it's looking like, and then we'll come back again and break it down. All right. Time to work. Time to work. All right. Walking through the crowd, slithering like a snake. Somebody's poison. Oh, what? Masters. All right. I'm assuming she's talking about fame. You're just poking away at the person after you didn't poison them. Putting them out of his miseries. All right. Here come the actual gameplay. All right, slithering like a snake. She's giving me Christy vibes from Dead or Alive. I'm gonna come out the gate and say that right now. She's already looking like Christy. And Christy was actually a real strong character in that game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Seeing some similarities is just that she's dealing with poison. All right, so she's gonna be setting up some poison clouds that might do damage over time. She's slithering like a snake on the ground. It looked like it's gonna be going under fireballs. All right, put them in snake chocos. That could be the level one. Yeah, that look, that, that look like level one. All right, this looks like her alternate costume. Ooh, she might be a bad matchup for JP. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. That has to be the level two. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she nasty. Ooh, is this a level three? Oh no, she ain't even have to do him like that. I don't even know where to start. All right. So that pretty much was a rough playthrough. Two minutes. So let's go ahead and go back into it and break it down and take it step by step and see exactly what they showcased. So be prepared, y'all. It's going to be a lot of pausing, a lot of questions and concerns, and a lot more. So it's obvious if you are enjoying the content, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go ahead and say it now before we get further into the video because a lot of people probably won't make it that far. So subscribe if you like it. Turn the post notification bell on and stay updated for all the uploads. All right, so master, it's a work of art. So I'm going to just come out the gate and say that she has to be talking about Fang, the only other poison control character that I know about in Street Fighter history is Fang. I think he was debuted in Street Fighter Five. Correct me if I'm wrong. If he showed up in any other title, uh, put it down in the comment section below. But it's obvious she has some sort of family bond and interactions with Fang. So. It's perfect. What to do with you, you are poking away at the person that you just poisoned. All right, so now you're giving me sinister, demonic vibes. All right, so Capcom is definitely putting in a lot of work on this character's personality. She's, she's slithery like a snake. She's low profile on the ground. Man. Shall we put him out of his misery? Shall we put him out of his miseries? All right. All right, so a lot of triple poke moves, so she looked like she might have a lot of target combos. Um, She looked like she might be a stance character low-key. I could be wrong, but this right here, she jabbed and then she switched sides. Now, the only other stance characters that I could think about is Vega and Zeku. So if I go ahead and turn the volume off and slow the speed down real quick... Uh, where's the speed? Speed, 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 speed. There we go. Playback speed. All right. So, boom, and then she switched stance. Now, 
maybe it's one of those buttons that you throw out if you don't do nothing it could just be the remaining animation for the actual jab i could be wrong but if i'm not wrong she's low-key looking like a stance character all right boom all right a lot of long reaching jabs so that's good she's definitely giving me mid-range vibes so she's gonna be deadly at that range and probably gonna be a problem up close also all right that's definitely a sweep that might be the standing medium kick she has an overhead the anti-air this has to be yeah that's an overhead that's the anti-air looks similar to manon's kick but probably faster. This might actually be a regular normal though. I think Manon is actually a special. She has a hop kick that looked like it crushes lows. Yeah, it looked like it completely crushes lows because Chung Lee tried to do crouching light and it got beat. So she definitely has a move that does that. Uh looked like it's a mid mid Tari combo that knocks down on hit. And it leaves poison. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm assuming this little aura fill that's around Chung Li, it actually does damage over time, similar to Fang's Poison Balls in Street Fighter V, where he had a V skill. Anytime that orb made contact with you, it did damage over time for Grey Life. So this could be the same situation for Aki. I forgot to turn the volume back on, so sorry about that. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the forward throw. It looked like it has some range on it. So she might be able to dash up, get some Oki. She might be able to walk up. Who knows? But that throw definitely has a good amount of range on it. So it might actually just reset neutral if you get hit by it. Um, That might be back, though. Potentially. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. This could be back, though. All right, so she has tether moves, she has poison orbs, and she has more tethers. Orbs that do knockback, tethers that attack from range, and she has poison puddles. All right, that's pretty unique also. So it's obvious from the way it's looking, if you step into the field, you most likely take more damage over time so i'm already getting crazy ideas already if this character gets you in the corner or any situation where you probably can't move and she puts that orb underneath your feet well not all but that that poison blob poison area un underneath your feet she's dealing constant pressure your life is just slowly draining down right so she's either wow she might actually cause a good amount of gray hell buildup and she can actually do a lot of guard stun well drive gauge um poking to drain the meter which puts you in burnout Ooh, this character might be giving me honda vibes that's more toxic if you catch my vibes all right she has this move right here she's slithering on the ground similar okay so fang had a coward stance where he was able to just drop down to the map and then do a follow where he uses his kicks to kind of like weirdly flip him over right of course blanca has his stance where he drops down to the ground and he's able to hop kick up or pounce up this character right here she's actually sliding across the map so i don't know if this is like a special follow where you hold a button the longer she slither but she's actually slithering across the map and she's able to follow up at any given time. So it might be a hold. As long as you're holding it. The longer you slither. Once you press or release. She do the follow up. So this right here. Looked like it's going to be a real good way. Uh, to get around fireballs. Uh, create weird situations. Where you could probably get certain normals to whiff. And basically hit your opponent with a surprise attack. Like Chung Lee just tried to lo do low forward and got hit. I'm assuming these are the additional follow-ups that the character is able to do from the ground walk, I guess you could call it. So she's able to ground walk and then pounce up 
start poking at your head, which might be an overhead. She's able to do that. She's able to pounce. Well, she's able to duck load and do this follow up. That might be a command grab. She might actually have a command grab from that stance. This looks like level one. Uh, this is definitely, this has to be the alternate costume. It looks um, something similar to like, what's that chick name that was walking around on Resident Evil 8 it was? The, the chick that everybody was talking about that stood like 10 feet tall. It's giving me that kind of vibe. It, it looks real good though. Yeah, ooh, I, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but she's looking like she might actually be a problem for JP. As we all know, JP is a real problematic character that a lot of players are having issues with. JP is seen in a lot of tournaments. Um, not too many characters like really fighting the matchup, but some characters are able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, but... Aiki look like her slithery snake style is actually going to give his general game plan some issues. So the orb look like it combats ghosts, which is good. Let me, let me go ahead and slow this down one more time for the one time. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so the EX orb combats ghosts. It goes through it. It combats another ghost. She's able to slide underneath. So the orb is colliding with the ghost. She's sliding as JP is still in the recovery from the ghost throw and punishes him. He tries to throw Pierce right here and Aiki does EX slide and gets behind him. She He tries to do command grab, pounces up, grabs him and punishing him for doing the command grab. So Ike is definitely looking like a character that's going to give JP some issues with the options that he brings to the game. Ooh, wee. Ike, ooh, we might be seeing a lot of Ike's just off of that information right there. Reaction with the drive impact. All right, this has to be level two. That definitely it might actually leave the character poison hold on let me play it back one more time yep um it looked like as JP's pouncing up he has the purple aura around him similar to what Chung Lee had in the beginning when she was in the little the pool of goop so that, that level two might actually leave some poison on you that orb look like it leaves poison Mm, this has to be the this, this, this is probably the critical art Ugh, that's actually so disgusting he's in shock doing the hall of shake like his whole body is just shaking shattering at each vital point and just poison just running through his body just decimating him and then that happens this character is not. Is that her outro? Oh, she nasty. Oh, she nasty. Oh, she nasty with it. Mmm. 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 So, this gameplay trailer has raised a lot of concerns. So, concern number one will the character actually be good? Will she be, will she be considered top tier? Will she actually be considered a good character because Fang was good in the right hands but overall he was considered low tier maybe pushing mid tier as this game went on a street fighter 5 and he received more buffs uh concern number two uh would she be easy to pick up will, will her combos be easy to learn will she take a lot of executions um will her moves actually apply dot because going off of just the graphical looks of what the character do it look like it will, but will it actually? Um, what's another concern? Will she be a true counterpick to JP? I think that's the biggest concern that a lot of people are really concerned about because the clip's been going around on Twitter. A lot of people are asking, oh, she's the counter for JP. Oh, our prayer's been answered. Oh, Capcom finally gave us an answer that's going to slow this madness down that JP is doing. 
who all knows, but the character will be dropping September 27th or 21st. Uh, quote me if I'm wrong. One of those dates. So at the end of the month, we will begin the character. I do plan on using her, so hopefully she's good, and we shall see what she actually brings to the table. So once again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys in the next one.